another HP here, aka Rourke, one of our prize. Now, for realsies, we will be doing Emma's story because I talked to the developer and he asked me to do it when I got my new computer in and I told him I would. And so, we're going to be doing Emma's story. When we're finished with this, I have a very important announcement regarding Emma's story and I will, I will tell you that when we are done. So anyway, Emma's story by Neil Winkler. You are Emma, daughter of esteemed scientist Dr. Robert Coleman. Ever since his discovery of the mythical orb of power, he has vanished, leaving you alone in the family estate. With strange things happening, you wonder what has happened to him. The story begins as you wake up in your room to find an ominous note from your lover. As you play, you will unravel Emma's story. Starting. Alright, and I forgot to start my timer. Of course, I always forget to start my timer. So anyway, how are you guys? It's nice to finally get back in the swing of things. Don't worry, Max Payne 2 will continue either around the time this is uploaded or beforehand. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be uploading this. Uh, there is a horrible, horrible line in this and I'm not entirely sure how to fix it. So we're just going to deal with it for now. Letter from Neil. Dearest Emma, I don't know how this note will ever find you, but I am in trouble. I need to sound more like a man. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm currently in captivity, placed here, I dare say it, by your father. He has always been a bit off, but this time, he has most certainly gone insane. I've never seen him like this before. I believe it to be related to that object, the Orb of Power that he found while on his latest trip out of the country. It has somehow changed him. I know he keeps it in a secret room of his, in his lab. At all costs, you must locate this orb and destroy it. Only then should your father return to normal. Please be careful, but make haste. Remember, find the lab and destroy that orb. Your lover. Anyway, all right, so, my boyfriend says my daddy's gone insane and locked him in the basement. Sounds like a typical day at home. All right, we've already gone through this. Sorry for people who saw my test run of this, but I want to go through everything again just to make sure. We got a tinderbox, got oil. Now, I haven't actually played through Amnesia the Dark Descent yet. I've played through a little bit of the beginning of it, but unfortunately, at the time, my computer was a little too laggy. I just couldn't get through it. So, but hopefully, now that everything is back to normal, I will be able to do it. I probably will let's play it. More so for my sake than for viewership's sake, because everyone and his kid brother has literally played this game on YouTube, so, yeah, it'll just more be for my sake to actually get myself to motivate, motivated to playing it, otherwise I'd be too scared to do it, and just so that I can have an excuse to tell my parents why I'm locking myself up in my room all the time. There's probably no other way that I'd be able to get away with playing games. Uh -huh. the story I dream of that, I will need a key. Look at that, there's some glass that I'm gonna break with this golden statue. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Away with you! I am no longer in need of your services. Certificate of, of Award, 15th of May, 1823. This letter is to congratulate Dr. Robert Coleman on his invention of laudanum. Your invention heals all ailments and feels so good when used. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, for this, we award you with this certificate. Congratulations and screw you. Signed, Neville Worthington. I won't make the joke about getting only a certificate because I know Markiplier has already made that joke. And yes, I've watched Markiplier play this. Don't judge me. Well, actually, I guess you can't judge me. 
Um, I have actually seen this before, I've only watched Markiplier play it, and it was a while ago, so I don't really remember much of what happens. Ooh, it's nice and spooky. Oh, look at those particles! No, I will not waste my tinderbox on you! You're already broken. Can I break you? Because... It's like the rule of amnesia. You have to go around and break stuff. I mean, it's, it's like no exception. That's gonna break. And we'll have my revenge. Nope. Nope. I'm. Um, nope. 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 I'm not gonna pick up the key. Uh, 10th of November, 1825, to Dr. Coleman. Hello, Robert. I had that key to that metal door on the second floor created today. It should arrive within the week, probably longer knowing our parcel service. Do be careful in that room now. We don't want any more incidents like what happened to that butler last month. Do we? Do we, Robert? Do we? I can still hear that awful scream sometimes in my nightmares. But anyway, I hope all is well with you. <laughs> my mental health is of no consequence whatsoever. Your friend Braxton really going insane, Archer. Okay. So, I do not have a. Oh, hi. Press the wrong button. Sorry. I don't know if there's going to be anything in these cases. No. 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 One big dance of yes. And then no. Oh man, I don't I don't want to pick up the key. Because I know whenever you pick up keys, stuff happens. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh god. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, okay. Oh man, I hear footsteps. Was that it? Was that it? Is that it? Okay. Another bedroom. Is this Daddy's room? Oh. Oh, it's very foggy. Emma wants out that window. Uh, men's shirts. Looks like a bibble. Another key and another note. 20th of April, 1822. I have stashed an extra supply of tinderboxes and a lantern in the storage closet adjacent to this room in case of emergencies. If it is locked, which it should be, use this key to gain entry. All right. I got a lantern. According to this note, there is a lantern and some extra tinderboxes in a storage room next to this one. Fantastic. I pick it up. Alright. Just in case there's a shirt. Just another shirt. And another shirt. And another shirt. So many shirts. Les chemises. Right? Right? French speakers, correct me. Les chemises? Les chem no, it's like, les chemises. Oh my gosh. I feel really horrible now. I just watched French. I'm so sorry, guys. Don't hate me. Did I miss any doors down here? I probably did. Well, being, you know. I know. Just, just I, I don't know which door to go in first. I'm going to go into the storage closet first because I may or may not need that. That is such a tiny piece. You're such a little picture. You say, okay, I'll stop now. No, wait, what am I doing? It's this door. Oh my gosh, pay attention. That everyone's yelling at me like, what's wrong with you? Oh gosh. Uh, don't, don't, okay. I'm waiting for the day when a flying naked guy is gonna pop out of one of these chests. Why? Because why not? I see you over there. I'm just, just hold on. I'm just, I wanna make sure. Oh, I want to make sure. Just, you said a 
dash of tinder boxes. Where's the tinder boxes? I don't see a stash of tinder boxes. Maybe somebody else has stolen them. Whew. Freak me out like that. All right. I'm gonna go into this store and sing everything that I do. I can smell a trap. This is so trap. I'm just gonna hang out on this table. Oh gosh. Oh, I know this room. I, I, do, I do remember this. Oh gosh. Or my fear of mannequins is gonna come. Shut up, Emma! Oh god, okay. Right, um. Right, come, come here. Go away! Okay. Screw you guys. Whoa. Do I have to let you guys are are you are you guys really gonna be Whoa, Emma, you sounded like a man there for a second. Did you move? Were you always right there? Or did I completely miss like an obvious key or something? Oh. Oh! Okay. You know, stop it! I, I love, you know, people people giving me the love and stuff. I love the love, but it's just a little too much love. Okay? Okay. I'm, I'm going now? Like, nope. 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 Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Oh my god. Let me out. 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 You... You butt faces. You are some major smelly butt faces. Okay. And what did that achieve? I got a hammer. Right. What do I do with said hammer? I don't know. Uh, da, 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 did I see anything? Do I have any other keys? No, I don't. Usually with a hammer, you need... I wish I could kick you. Alright, let's... I guess let's just try over here. Lock is broken. Shoot, so I just ran all the way away from the door where I'm supposed to go. I'm sick of you and your kind. Get out of here. Main hall. Right. Somehow I knew that cursed orb would come back to haunt me. Why didn't he ever try to warn me or at least prepare me for this? Obviously, you never heard of the motto from the Lion King. And Girl Scouts. Be, be, be prepared. And if freaking love this layout. You know why, guys? Can you tell? Can you tell by looking at this? I'm sorry if I'm being annoying. If, what, what do you see? Well, if you answered Resident Evil, you are correct, because this is totally Resident Evil, and I love it. See, look, it's even the dining room. A dining room. It looks like blood. I hope it's not Chris's blood. Oh, thank you. Shut up, Glock. I don't want any of your shenanigans. Uh, yeah, this is very similar to the Resident Evil layout, which is really cool because, you know, there's the top part with the two stairs, and then technically there should be, like, I think another set of stairs, and then it overlooks the dining room, and then that would lead on to the side of the house. 
And if we went down through that door, that would lead to where you find the first zombie of the game. I'm totally not a Resident Evil freak or anything. Or I may or may not have done a let's play of it. It was my very first let's play, as a matter of fact. And it's kind of crappy. So, you can watch that at your own risk. Alright, that's... Oh! Father blocked this off a long time ago. I wonder what he was trying to hide down here. Do I need... Nope. Nope, I need a crowbar. Okay. This is really beautiful. I love it. Locked. Well, fine. And let me guess. Ah, uh, the door's sealed shut. Crap. Oh, gosh. Isn't this, like, under just where I was? God, more of you guys. Uh, blocked from the other side. I'm gonna run. Mark. Father's study is locked. I need to find another way in. Okay. So basically, we are on on the hunt for keys, right? We have enough to spare. Let's gain us some sanity. Make that ickiness stop. It's getting me a bit motion sick. Also, this is probably one reason why I will never let's play um, Call of Cthulhu. Might play it for myself, but I don't think I'll ever let's play it because uh, it makes me nauseous with all the uh, sanity effects. Whoa, hi. Well, no time like the present. All right, we're gonna look around. Obvious stuff is obvious, so we will come back to that in a second. Yeah, I figured. I knew that was gonna happen. Why? Because I'm psychic, of course. Alright, so now that's open. Alright, let's grab the note. <clears throat> Letter to Emma, the 20th of December, 1843. Emma, my daughter, I am so sorry that things turned out the way they did. And even more than that, I'm forever sorry I never had a chance to explain everything to you. Explain why I disappeared. There was just never enough time. Not enough time for my work, my friends, and most importantly, my family. And now, look where my work has gotten me. If you are reading this, then I am already gone. I had hoped you would get up the courage to enter this room, my private study and eventually come across this note. If that is the case, then perhaps the day I feared to come has already happened. If that object I found ever gets into the wrong hands, the whole world as we know it could be changed forever. There is so much more I need to tell you, but of course there isn't enough time. My lab and secret room, you know the one, are downstairs and through the wine cellar. I admit, there may be things you'll regret seeing down there, but it must be done. Emma, I am not sure what the best course of action is. I have heard many great perils in destroying such an orb, yet I can already feel the changes taking place. Soon, I will no longer exist, so I write this with haste while I still can. In any event, you must retrieve that orb and keep it somewhere safe where it cannot possibly get into the wrong hands. There's an item in the dining room that you'll need in order to get into the wine cellar. Please be careful in there. Only God knows what I awoke unto this estate when I found that object. Do take care of Neil. He is a good <coughs> man <coughs> for you. <coughs> be careful. Love your father, Robert. P.S. I am still your father and I do not like that man. Because all fathers hate the guys that their daughters like. Let's just... Come on, it's just a fact of life, right? Sorry, you said it. Sorry, I needed. Needed that. Can I? Nope. Alright. <gasps> no! Okay. 
Oh god. 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 Um. Hi. Hi. Um. Um. Yo. Um. I'm kind of stuck. I am, I am incredibly stuck. Like, no joke. Excuse me, Mr. Grunt. But, um, that was a bad idea. Woo! Oh god, 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 oh god. No, I'm stuck again! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Why am I stuck? Why am I? Well! That was a success, I, I think. I, I put that as a win in my book. Please be gone. <gasps> oh no, I'm all the way up here. Well anyway, okay, I gotta stop it here because like I'm out of time, right? All right, all right, so we're gonna save. Go to the menu, and this has been HB AK or one of prize with Amnesia Emma Story, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.